So what we're going to do now, we're going to start by a bottom upwards approach. We're going to start with the models. And the first model that we're going to do, we're going to add the model for the tasks. So what we'll do, we want to right click and we want to go new Java class. And it's going to be called task. And it's a class. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually say this entity is basically for the tasks. This is going to link it all together with our um, our database eventually. So that's the the first thing and the space there. So task because that's our database and the database records a number of tasks but the, the actual class itself is called task because we're actually talking about individual an individual task. So this model is going to hold the data for one task which is then linked to or will be added to the task database. So what I like to do is just add a public constructor for this. So this let's just add that. So now that we've got that, um, so let me just that in there. So now that we've got the kind of the fundamentals out of the way, let's start by adding the elements for the task. So the first thing we want is we want to add a private uh, lung and let's call this task ID and these names will match if we come over here uh, the names that we have in the actual database table so that there's all the auto wiring going on in the background as part of Spring and Spring Boot. So the next we want to add it's another private, and this one's a string, and it's the um, task title. Uh, the task name, sorry. Not title, uh, task name, okay, which is a string. And then the third one, we want to add the private string again. And this time it's the task description. And then our fourth item is a private, and this one is a Java. Let's spell today SQL, and it's a date. And what it's called is called task date. We won't really be linking too much of that up at the moment, but uh, in regards to date, but it's something that we may want to add there so that we can actually record if we want to. Now that's our structure, but what we need to do, we need to actually add the, or tell it what element in there is actually our ID uh, element for, you know, for, for the key. Um, so to do that, just above the task ID, what I want to do, we want to add at ID, yeah, and the great thing about IntelliJ is that uh, it adds the elements uh, imports that we need, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to say it's a generated value. Uh, this is um, a key so that every time you add something to it, it gets auto generated. Um, so it's a generated value, and strategy for that is generation and we're going to take its identity so that's it for the actual task model so why don't you pause this video and create a second model for the employees and then come back and see if it matches mine
So very similar to the task, we want to go to models, we want to create a new Java class. This one's going to be called employee. Okay. And let's expand our employee so that we can actually see what our columns are, so that we can make sure we match them up. And again, if we look back here, we want to actually have uh, the entity so it would be um, at entity and it's going to be this time the entity is one name equals employees that's what it's called in the database let's put this in quotes so that it doesn't give us an error okay so that last time we wanted to do a public constructor we're going to have this one is called the employee okay and then again what we need to do we need to add our um, Our data types and what I'm not going to do I'm not going to add the employee photo in this at the moment I'm just going to add the ID through the title so the first one is again a long and we're going to set private long and it's called employee and ID and then we have a private String, which is our employee name, and then we have a private string or employee title, and then like our previous um, model, we need to have that at ID. And we need to have a at generated value and strategy is equal to generation identity. Okay, so that's the basic models. But the one thing we do need to do before we finish this is we need to add the getters and setters. Now the great thing about IntelliJ is that I can just literally right click and I can say generate let's just make sure we have a nice space for this right click and say generate and then I can say getters and setters and I can just choose all of my elements and click OK and that goes and creates the getters and setters for me in that model and then in the employee same thing right click generate get some setters okay if your if if the ID that you're using don't doesn't do that then you need to go and create them by hand but we need to create get and setters so that we can actually add and retrieve data from those elements so that's the two models uh, created at the moment as I say we'll come back and do the employee photo at a, another later time but um, this is just the very basic models ready to now add and store data.